audiovisual presentation, Dean. Oh, well, that sounds interesting. What's, What's your presentation, Annie? My presentation is a copy of Jeff Winger's 1997 audition tape for MTV's The Real World. What? What? Let's just roll it. Thanks. Hey, I'm, I'm Jeff, Jeff Winger, and I'd love to be on MTV's Real World Seattle. So check this out. Oh, well, I guess it would be nice if I could be on MTV. So please, please take a look at me for oh, the real world. Oh, I'm going to lie twice. <laughs> if that Folks, who do me. you want shaking Joe Biden's hand at 5 p.m.? Me or... Shut up! I was like 19! We've all been 19, Jeff. And none of us did this. None of us. Pop? Huh? I hate you. I hate this school. And I hope you all get black mold poisoning. Huh? Oh, Jeffrey, no! I hate you. No, Jeffrey, no. You have got to have Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeff. Anyway, just reminding you to keep any April Fool's pranks physically safe, politically balanced, and racially accessible. When in doubt, check the guidelines in our college pranks literature. Guidelines for school sanctioned pranks. Oh, reminds me of my favorite college comedy. Oh, uh, which one? Exactly. See, the dean doesn't get it. The point of a practical joke is to shake up the system. For example, who wants some of these? Cool. Yeah. Looking for something? Nice. Oh, they allow student volunteers for campus security during times of heightened shenanigans. Oh. I want to be security. Oh, let's do it together. We can be partners. <gasps> That's a buddy cop movie I would watch. But I wonder which of you would be by the book and which of you would be the badass. <laughs> oh, Abed, you're so silly. <laughs> I'd be the badass. Greetings, mortals. Morning. Snake in a can? Oh, no, thanks. I'm fasting. My Buddhist church is having its annual ascension ceremony, and I will be becoming a level six laser lotus. I know, I was speechless too. Anyway, I have to detoxify for the ceremony. I get all the nutrients I need with salt, water, and honey. <coughs> Better if it goes down the, <coughs> the wrong pipe. So, what happens in level six? Well, nobody in my hive has ever seen a six. But uh, from what I hear, I have immunity to germs, and heightened psychic ability, and improved night vision. Any bonuses to your combat score? I assume I'll fight better if I can see more. <laughs> Dumbass. Hey, Pierce, I just remembered right before you got here, some guy was delivering level six ceremonial robes. What? Why didn't you tell me? Maybe if you run, you can catch him. Way to use your brain, winner. I'll bet. How fast can you run to the theater department? 37 seconds. Don't come back without something ridiculous. Go. Got it. Guys, you realize you're exploiting the naivete of a man who is being brainwashed by a cult. Oh, well, it sounds a lot less fun when you say it. Everything does. She's a buzzkill. I'm not a buzzkill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't really describe it. You're more of a fun vampire because you don't suck blood. You just suck. He wasn't there. Oh, I think Abed found him. Hey, give me. <gasps> it's amazing. Wow. It is absolutely gorgeous. How do I look? May I? Yeah. Magical. Great. <laughs> <laughs> the only one who doesn't like this is Britta. You ever get tired of being a buzzkill? He'd like to see Annie next. You know what? No. He'll see Jeff next. No, but you're not supposed to or go. Or what? You'll do twice as much work as a doctor for half the pay? Thank you. Call the compl assault, part compliment, part insult. He invented them. I coined the term. See what I just did there? That was an explainer brag. Hello, Jeffrey. Pierce! I've thought about this day many times, but I've always imagined it differently. For starters, I thought you'd be the one in bed and I'd be a hologram. What? Oh, never mind, there's no, no time for that now. Pierce! It's starting to seem, from observing the others, that you're using the social leverage afforded you by your alleged deathbed to exact complicated acts of psychological vengeance on those closest to you. Vengeance? Oh, no. I was never one to hold a grudge, Jeffrey. My father held grudges. I always hate him for that. 
Did you get along with your father? I got along with Adam. Oh, that's no good, Jeffrey. You don't want your dad to die before you tell him how you feel. I'm sure you're right. Look, let's nip this in the bud. Pierce, we're sorry we didn't respond quickly enough to your pill addiction. Is there any chance that apology is enough? Are you ready to be bequeathed upon, Jeff? <sighs> yeah. Blow my mind. I found your father. Did you know? William Winger, born Oklahoma City, 1945. 1974, married Doreen Fitzgerald, divorced in 1983. Most recently residing in Dorchester, currently sitting in a town car on its way to this very hospital. Should be here in an hour or so, give or take a father. That it? Yep. All right, see you at the funeral. And so it is bequeathed. What are you gonna say to your dad? I'm not gonna say anything because I won't have to because Pierce is playing head games with us. I've decided not to listen to it. What? I'm not gonna listen to the CD of you guys talking about me because I forgive you. But how do we know what we're being forgiven for? We don't even know what's on there. And you never have to. Hmm? But what if he is coming though? What are you gonna say to him? Here. I'll be him. I'll be him. Hi. Hey. Hi, I'm Jeff's dad. Hi. Hi, Hi oh. Jeff's dad. I'm Britta's dad. What? Why? I don't know. Got drunk, didn't have a condom, and her mom gets freaky when she hears Oingo Boingo. Oh, God, I wish I could relate, but much like my son, I'm a closet homosexual. Don't apologize for that. You're talking to the guy that banged Britta's mom. I have no standards. Well, what do you say we take a tumble? I'll put on a wig. That's it. You're under arrest. I'm an undercover cop. It's not illegal to be gay. It is here in Iran. Now when we're in the green zone. That's Iraq, stupid. Well, what do I know? I'm Jeff Weir's dumb gay dad. My father was a two-bit con man of so little substance, he couldn't leave a trail if he wanted to. And I don't care if Pierce hired Scotland Yard. He isn't going to track him down from a hospital bed. I mean, money can't just make people appear. Excuse me. I'm looking for Troy Barnes. Pierce Hawthorne sent me. every answer to every test in your curriculum this semester. I knew you could do it, buddy. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Whoa there, grubby grubby. What do I get? The satisfaction of being even. Even, fairness, right, wrong. There is no God. Booyah, booyah. What, what do you want from me? Your Lexus. My car. For a semester's worth of answers. Will it be just a semester, though, Jeff? Won't you be taking the easy way out for the next four years? I want payment in advance. I want leather seats with built-in ball warmers. You know, bluffs this week are how your people lost the colonies. Have a nice disbarment hearing. What am I supposed to drive? Oh, you should take this car. It's good for the earth. Yeah, so it's wiping your butt with a leap, but it's not how a man gets around. All right, class, turn to pitch. Whoa, looks like the law firm of Seacrest and Slumdog's taking the day off. Ooh, another special delivery from Troy and Pierce's imaginary lovers. <laughs> oh, that one's for me. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, well, it's from Princeton. They want to make me associate professor of the Spanish department. <gasps> They're telling me I can name my price. Oh my God, at Princeton, come on! You two idiots really thought I'd fall for this, huh? This is your pathetic attempt to punish me for humiliating you. But we didn't do it. Save it! As punishment, because you two obviously don't have any girlfriends, escort me to the Valentine's dance wearing elegant ladies' pantsuits. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You'll do it or you're filming class. You can't do that. Have you met me? I mean it. Tonight, you are my bitches. Is this meeting over? I think so, but sometimes we just hang out, say funny stuff. Have fun with that. Oh. Guys, do you feel like Elroy does 
doesn't like us as much as we like him and each other. He probably doesn't know his role yet. I mean, is he Black Pierce, Old Troy, or Shirley without a giant purse? I haven't exactly been a whirlwind of entertainment since Troy left. That's not no, true. Really? It's not just me. You guys have been boring, too. Okay, I just gotta ask, what was so special about this Troy person? Did he own a rainbow? Was he the group's pharmacist? We don't like to talk about it. But you often do. I'm a problem solver. Give me information. I'll handle this. Troy was very gifted at steel drums. Steel drums. Interesting. Huh. Well, this has been a great meeting. I'm off. That won't pay off immediately, but it's gonna pay off. And that, Jeff, is the truth. Did you lose the egg you put the dollar bill in? That's how it works. I think you know the reason this group has been chosen for this job. To atone for the obscene entry you submitted in the Greendale School Flag Contest. That's right. I know that this isn't a symbol for the crossroads of ideas. I now know it's a butt. <laughs> yeah, keep snickering. Pack yourselves with peanuts and really be satisfied. But guess what? This won. This is now our school flag forever. Proud of yourselves? How do you know it was our design? We submitted it anonymously. Whoops. One of you actually came forward. What? Now. Somewhere beneath this dirt is Greendale's newest pride. And my hope is that while you scrub it, you will find the school pride in your hearts. After we clean it, can we go inside? No. That is a job for some upstanding students who are training right now in the simulator simulator. Great job on this. Hard to believe I'm not really, not really in space. I expect this craft to be squeaky clean in time for the pretend launch in front of the press at 3 o'clock. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to make this into a butt flag. Man, I remember this thing from high school. During field trips, we used to sneak inside and get to praying. Oh, that's nice. We should take a coffee break. Let's all get coffee, OK? Where are Troy and Abed? I'm pretty sure they made their way into that thing five seconds after the dean left. Frankie, are you awake? I'm in bed, but I only rest half my brain at a time. Go. Greendale in jeopardy. Need to call emergency meeting ASAP. No time to explain. I can be at the school in 30 minutes, and I'll have the dean notify the others. Could you notify the others? You don't think the dean can handle it? Do what you think is best. Annie Edison requesting emergency meeting at school in 30. Greendale in trouble. I'll notify the others. I can do that if you like. I think I can handle notifying others. Thank you very much. Annie, Jeffrey, emergency meeting at the school in 30 minutes. I already know. I'm the one calling the meeting. What up, yo? Who is this other number? It's a group text. I'm texting you and Jeffrey. It's me. I am Jeffrey, best friend of Dean. Hi, Jeffrey. Hmm. Dean, that number is not in my phone as Jeff's, and it doesn't even look like an American phone number. But can I get? You never told me you gave Annie a fake phone number. Yes, Dean. This is me, Jeffrey. You are best friend. Hold on. I'll cover. You're right. I had the wrong number. <laughs> See you at the school. I am so sorry, Jeffrey. I hope I didn't get you in trouble. No worries, Dean. I love you. You're always so sweet when we're texting, but then in real life... Bro, I just secret that way with love. You know my style. We keep loving in text, but then secret forever. Meow. Meow. Does anyone know how long it takes paper mache to dry? Three hours longer than it took Duncan to think of this assignment. I think he's really gonna appreciate the extra work we did expanding our evolutionary chart. Oh, Britta! Can you hold up the final stage of humanity? I still think that man is going to evolve into woman, not a dragon monster with three legs. Three legs? Well, it's been real. At least pay smell has. Mm -hmm. But I have a date to catch, or should I say, a catch to date. Oof, I hope you just came up with that. Look out! Drive by Deaning! <laughs> no kidding. Just a non-violent verbal reminder, the local shelter is having a puppy parade this afternoon. Oh, oh I want to lick it. 
I expect all of you to lend a paw. <laughs> Except you, Jeffrey. I know you've got a catch today. Oh, like you're famous for your wit. Puppy parade? I am in. I want to see if those wiener dogs are born that way or if they start off normal and then get wiener. Abed, did you pick up my pen? It's a purple pen with a gel grip. Nope. I'm strictly mechanical pencils these days. More relatable? It was just here. You okay, Annie? Chocolate? Would you like me to push you to the parade, Pierce? Oh, no, thanks. I don't want people to think of me as a handicap. Oh. If anything, this chair makes me more than a human. <laughs> you move it by blowing into this uh, tube here. It's the most expensive one. I outbid three hospitals for this baby, and it was worth every penny. Oh. oh! Wait! Please, just wait. I'm sorry, but I need to know who took my pen. Uh, sorry, uh, I, I don't see it. Yeah, sorry, Annie. No! Not sorry, Annie. We passed Sorry Annie eight pens ago. I keep bringing pens, and you guys keep taking them, and I'm afraid I am putting my foot down. Okay. Well, now Annie has made it clear that this is an issue, so from now on, we need to be more respectful of her things. Okay? Okay. Cool. Okay. Hey, Troy. Hi. I'm LeVar Burton. You just got LeVar Burton to come here for Troy? Is there anyone he can't produce? Now I'm really getting mad. Why am I the only one he decided to torture? I told Pierce a thousand times I never wanted to meet LeVar in person. I just wanted a picture. You can't disappoint a picture. I hate you, Pierce. I hate you so much. <clears throat> Annie, I forgive you. Annie Edison, your bequeathal is at hand. Regular job here? Annie, I know you're being strong for me. I give you permission to weep. I'm crying on the inside. Gross. Well, in any case, I want to give you this. It's been in my family for six generations. Now it's yours. Thank you. <laughs> Jeff, do you want to see your dad? He's not coming. But do you want to see him? No! Then why aren't you leaving? Because I don't care, and I'm not going to let him think that I care. Your dad or Pierce? There is no dad! Get this thing out of my face! And don't you dare intercut this with footage of me freaking out! <laughs> is there footage of you freaking out? I'm gonna kill you, and Pierce, and Britta, and anyone else who thinks I care about any of this! So, do you go to school nearby? Well, are you more familiar with me from Star Trek or Reading Rainbow? Reading Rainbow was a show I hosted and produced for 25 years on PBS. Never seen it. Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book. Reading Rainbow. <laughs> Reading Rainbow. <laughs> Set phasers to love me. What's wrong, Annie? You came out of the bedroom smiling, and then your smile faded as you leaned against the door. I gave Britta her phone. You did? Why? She needs to feel trust to recover, or she'll relapse. She's going to relapse because you gave her her phone. No. I secretly switched Blade's number in her phone to my number. So if she tries to get in touch with him, it'll come to me. That's diabolical. Yeah, you're just like Blade, man. Straight up. I just hope she can find the strength to... She's 
probably just telling him she's dying to feel the warmth of his... Are you kidding me? She said we were sisters. I'm so sad right now. And she is so codependent. And such a bad speller. It's all very simple. In Annie's world, long before Vaughn, she only had eyes for Troy. So if Troy becomes a real option, Annie will drop Vaughn in a hippie's heartbeat. Crash course in manipulation. You don't actually tell the person what you want them to do. You help them realize they want to do it so it can't be traced back to you. Mm, got it. Chemistry. Sexy. You know what else is sexy? Annie. I know chemistry is sexy, but Annie, I don't see it. Well, every other guy on campus does. You really don't see how pretty Annie is? Maybe it's because I knew her back in high school, before she dropped out. She had braces and acne and a pill addiction and a nervous breakdown ending with her running through a plate glass door screaming, everyone's a robot! I see what's happening here. Troy, I want you to clear your head. Done. I'm going to describe to you a complete stranger who happens to be in our study group. Would you excuse us for a moment? No kidding. Come on, you gotta be exaggerating. Oh, man. <clears throat> and she's Jewish? Oh, can't believe I didn't see that. Well, I guess she deserves another shot. Oh, wait, never mind. It's too late. I heard she's hooking up with Vaughn. It's only to make you jealous. What? what? She's helplessly in love with you. She's only with Vaughn to get your attention, and you have to give it to her now. Right, Jeff? Sure. But the point is... We're not telling you what to do. Oh, yeah, you didn't hear it from us. Booyah. I have the weirdest boner. Jeffrey, before you say anything, you might want to think about the gift you've been given. An excuse to punch a hippie? No. No, not that. An important lesson, my friend. You see, the tools you acquired to survive out there will not help you here in Greendale. What you have, my friend, is a second chance at an honest life. Give me my keys. What? No, I have to keep your car. Let's don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Jeffrey? Jeffrey? Are we cool? We cool? a plan sometimes you hit a speed bump and sometimes you hit it so hard that you soar through the air far beyond your initial expectations i set out to take revenge on jeff winger to scare him with the ghost of his father instead i took over the role of his father helped make him a better man it'll be a long time before jeff winger underestimates me again <laughs> ow 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 why would you do something like this? Yes, Come on, Jeff. What? what? <laughs> because I'm sick of you people not taking me seriously. You forget my birthday. You don't invite me to your Dungeons and Dragons games or your secret trampoline. 
You guys think I'm some kind of a joke? This isn't disproving the theory. Good point. What'd you say? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently, I need to say some things to my father. Things that I may have screamed at Pierce instead. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. But my father deserves it too. My name is Kevin, or so they tell me. Actually, they told me my birth name is Benjamin Chang, but I can't remember anything before six months ago. But by using a special shiny glass called a mirror, I've estimated that I'm 15 years old, although I have no way of knowing. Changnesia is a fascinating and extremely rare disease on the forefront of the psychological landscape. Compared with your garden variety amnesia, Changnesia is immeasurably more complex. It's varied in seemingly random symptoms. It's resistance to both traditional and new age medicine. Why Changnesia affects the memory, but not the ability to make forced puns. These are all things we can study now that someone finally has it. What the hell did you people do in there? Something you and your puppies could only dream of, you non-miraculous son of a bitch. Not miraculous? Wait, Bobby! I'm taking Doreen to Andy's mixer tonight. You mean the STD fair? Catch knowledge. Taking a call girl to an STD fair? This joke here. So, Jeff, dust off that black book and rustle up a honey, huh? Is there a pill that makes the word no clearer? Well, I guess it is pretty short notice. Probably couldn't get a date anyway. Ooh. I'm sure you're right. Ooh. Maybe it has something to do with crabs. They like a food, but they're also a disease. Yeah, you know, I wonder, Jeffrey, for all your feather flashing, when was the last time you actually scored? Well, I don't know the precise date, Pierce, because I'm not you, so there's no receipt. Ooh. Oh, come on. Jeff, you shouldn't take pot shots at some poor woman just because you can't get a date. I can get dates anytime I want. Was this some kind of joke? No. This is. Don't eat the crab dip. Yay, yay. I'm texting to tell you I'm not texting you anymore. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Are you mad at me now? Fine, I guess you don't want to know our two-year-old. Can we please just put it under a stack of mattresses or something? I don't know, when is she gonna take a hint? Britta's attracted to unavailable men. Dean, why are you here? Ouch. Fine, let's make him available. What are you doing? Ending this. Leave me alone. No! That's so much worse. See, she stopped. She's calling him? She was born in the 80s. She still uses her phone as a phone. Uh-oh. That's fine. It's fine. We just won't answer it. Want to go to your voicemail? Hello, Blade? Oh, <laughs> Change your settings so it doesn't go to voicemail. Too late. You guys act like a carnival. Be a carnival. Now! Step right up. Ding, ding, ding. Get your popcorn here. Hello? Busy, babe. Wait. Just wait. Wait, but... I told you not to call me at work. I'm sorry. I forgot. Don't be mad at me. She's whipped by an imaginary douche. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. What is this? I don't know, I... I don't know. Honda. The power of dreams. Dean Pelton, I know how susceptible you are to advertising. Would you say I'm a level seven susceptible? No, 
Because why would I? Because that's Moon Man talk. You mentioned a new kid earlier who told you about the new Honda Fit? Rick. Britta's boyfriend? Yeah, but he's not. No. He's a good man. And he wouldn't secretly be working for Honda because when we first met, he was secretly working for a completely different company. Are you? I, I don't know how to... I have a rule about being constructive, so I can't ask any questions right now because all of the questions that I have right now are rhetorical and they end with the word idiot. Do you know what a rhetorical... No, of course you know what that is. You're an idiot. Oh. I'm sorry. I am so sorry, but you're so stupid. You have no idea, and you're the only one who has no idea because guess why? Don't answer that, you'll get it wrong. Oh, so dumb. You're just a dumb little man who tries to destroy this school every minute. I am sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, it's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but <laughs> Oh, so stupid. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Such a dummy. Give me some love.